So this is all being recorded, eh? This is being recorded. I'll put yeah. it onto uh, Google, and then I'll put it into Oh, don't Mickey's. put it forever, like... Uh, no, no, no. It's it's an unlist. Unlis- that's why I don't go on Facebook, because I don't like everybody knowing my business. Yeah, this is this is for I Mickey bet you and I'll let Nelson's kids and stuff see when, it. Because when you come to the house to shoot me tomorrow, I need to show me how to do it. Put a couple of icons on the computer screen. Okay. Welcome back. Oh, thank you. <laughs> What's your name? Hey. Fancy meeting you here. It's me. Uh-huh. Where are we? Hey, okay. you want to tell a joke? Can I tell a joke on there? <laughs> tell the joke. <laughs> About two gay guys? <laughs> okay, let's hear your joke. Two gay guys, Bob and Bill. Uh-huh. Bob comes home and Bill says, Hey, Bill, I think there's something up my rack now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, he says, do you think you can put a finger in and just see if you can feel something? <laughs> okay, so I put the finger in. Says, no, I, I don't feel anything. <laughs> oh, well, put two fingers in. Okay. Two fingers in his rectum. Says, no, I still don't feel anything. <laughs> well, put it in a little farther. Like, put your whole hand in. Okay, okay. Yeah, no, no, I don't feel anything yet. Oh, well... Put your hand in, put your arm in. So he puts his arm up his rectum and he's got it up to his elbow and he's going, no, uh, wait, wait, I, I do feel something. I'm, I'm going to bring it out. Brings it out and he goes, oh my God, it's a Rolex. Happy birthday. <laughs> That's my joke. Uh, <laughs> Don't forget your kids uh, gonna look at this. I, I know. <laughs> he, not not for a couple of years. <laughs> <laughs> now, now, not till he's eighteen. Yeah, okay. don't forget to tell him we're drinking while we're doing it. Uh-huh. So, so you told me some stories that your parents had told you. Were there any stories that your grandparents or any uncles or aunts oh, told boy. you? Oh boy, no. That you can that you can remember. No, the only story. It's not a story. It's a true fact. Mm-hmm. Then, well, remember, I told you when I was very, very young, we used to go to my grandparents on my dad's side for mm-hmm. for for Sunday dinners. And my grandfather always had he had white white hair, mm-hmm. something similar to what I have now, but it was a, a flat hair. flat top, <laughs> brush cut, mm-hmm. and he always wore suspenders and a white shirt and black pants. Because my grandfather was very well to do, he built most of the homes on Valleyway. Oh, he was really? a carpenter. Really, he also had a store on Bridge Street. And my dad said when he was a young boy, they used to have a maid and a butler in the well. home. Then the Great Depression came along, and they lost everything. Mm-hmm. And uh, my grandfather lost the houses that he had was building on, on Valleyway, lost his store. Lost, so the, consequently, the, the butler and the maid uh, were no longer. So it used to be kind of... So anyway, that's how I remember my grandfather, as a brush cut, suspender, white shirt, dark pants. And I remember sitting on his knee in the kitchen. That's right, this is, and this is grandma's father. That's my dad's, my dad's father, yeah, Earl's yeah. father. Yep. So. Sitting on his knee. Yeah, I was sitting on his knee because he had grabbed me because I was going in the fridge looking for something to eat prior to, prior to dinner. And he's, and I remember him saying to this day, get out of the fridge. <laughs> <laughs> and he would grab me and take me and put it on his knee. And that was the end of it. That's, and I remember they had a big uh, three or four car garage in the backyard. And they had this huge chestnut tree which you don't see too many around anymore today and I remember going out and get, gathering all the chestnuts and whatnot and in the latter years um, I think your mom and I used to actually roast some of the chestnuts because they're not bad eating yeah, come yeah. Christmas time yeah. and they had a huge Christmas uh, chestnut tree on their property which I think it's still there. Where was this property? If you go down Bridge Street from, from Stanley yeah um, on your left hand side, there's a, it used to be Niagara Tire and Battery, it's now Emerald Plumbing, mm-hmm. and then there's a field, which is a hydro right away. The next house was my grandma and grandpa's house. Two or three houses past that were also homes that my grandfather had built, mm-hmm. so my father told me. Mm-hmm. So anyway, that's where they lived, right. and everybody knew everybody back then. Um, that's where they lived when my grandmother adopted Chet and Roy, uh, who were, um, mistreated as children. 
and she adopted them, and their last name was Block. Mm -hmm. Some interesting stories with them, too. I don't know if that's one of the questions, but... Do you want to elaborate on the interesting story? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uncle Chet, he drove for BA, which is British... British... No, no. It was a petroleum. It was a gas station, oh. BA. British... British... Oh, boy. We can Google it. <laughs> okay. He drove for he drove a tanker truck mm -hmm. for the uh, and and hauled gasoline. Um, Chet, uh, let's see now. I remember Chet. He used to drive when they brought the double decker buses after he retired because he had a ticket to drive transport. He was also allowed allowed to drive these buses, mm -hmm. which housed or, or drove tourists around the Niagara Niagara. Falls. But my uncle Roy was decorated in Holland for freeing the uh, Dutch from the Germans. Hmm. And highly decorated. And because of that, that's when they sent all the tulips to Ottawa. And that's why there's so many tulips up there come spring. They were a gift from the Dutch government to the Canadian government because the Canadian army freed them from the Germans. Hmm. The Bren gun carrier that's in front of the armories in St. Catharines. Okay, yeah. It's a half track. It has the treads on it. Mm -hmm. um, my Uncle Rory, I understand, was a mechanic during during the war. And this burn gun carrier was off to the side of the road with one of the tracks off it. And he fixed it. And him and a bunch of his buddies were driving around in it rather than walking, which most of the troops were doing, until some of his superiors saw them in it and, and commandeered it from them. And consequently, end up bringing it back to Canada, and that's where it's stationed. Really? Because he belonged to the Lincoln and Welland uh, Regiment. Right. But while Roy was also over overseas, he got a hold of a Thompson machine gun. Okay. The machine guns you see in the movies. The one? Yeah, with yeah. The, with the all the bullets that were in that rounded part yeah. underneath. Yeah. So you see all the gangsters from the thirties that used to use that type of gun. Anyway, he sent one back to Canada in a box that said brass door knockers. <clears throat> so when my grandfather opened it, saw this Thompson submachine gun there. <laughs> yeah. He said, I'm not a brass, I'm not a brass door knockers. <laughs> anyway, consequently, when my uncle came back, Uncle Roy, yeah. him and Chet were down in St. David's. There used to be a bar. As soon as you get to the bottom of the hill, and past the trailer park on your on your right hand side, there's a couple of buildings there, and one of them used to be a bar. Mm -hmm. While they were in there drinking, and they got pretty hammered one night, and they got kicked out, and so they went home and they grabbed this Thompson submachine gun <laughs> and they drove past the place and riddled it with bullets. Whoa. There was also a car parked out in front uh -huh. that they riddled all the windows out of it. There was a baby in the back seat sleeping. Didn't kill it. Okay. <laughs> it was big news back then. So my okay. grandfather got wind of this. He took the gun, threw it in the hydro canal here that runs through the city. Yeah. I think they did find it when they did drain it, which they do very seldom. I've never known it in my lifetime to drain it. But they did drain it, my dad said, and they found it, but they couldn't trace who it was, trace who it was from or to whatever. Oh, that man. was their claim to fame. Oh, my God. <laughs> they yeah. didn't kill the baby with the Thompson no. machine gun. Wow. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. I'm glad to hear that. <laughs> and in my grandmother's home <clears throat> on Bridge Street, mm -hmm. apparently there was a handgun, a Luger, I think it is, buried underneath one of the floorboards up in the attic on the third floor. Mm -hmm. Whether it's been found or not to this day, I don't know. Uh, now, how did you hear about that? From them? Oh, my dad. From your dad? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so they were quite characters. Yeah? Uh -huh. well, wow. Yeah, but that, ans Roy. that answers the next question. Especially Roy. Yeah? Roy was married to Shirley. She was a black girl, but I didn't know it because she was so fair. Actually, when they came to one of our Christmas parties, I, they were late, and I said to Shirley, I says, where are you guys been? I says, down south picking cotton or something? <gasps> and my dad pulled me aside. He said, Tom, do you not know she's hard? <laughs> oh, 
And I was, I was in you have, my a, teens. you have a knack for like putting oh, your yeah. foot in your mouth. Oh, yeah. Huh? Yeah. And I was in my teens, and I was like, I felt about this big. I said, yeah. No, I didn't know she was Because so. <laughs> my dad said, if you ever saw her sisters, they are as dark as dark can be. Yeah. I said, I didn't know she was colored, Dad. <laughs> She says, well, look, she has curly hair. <laughs> okay. Oh, so I went and I apologized profusely. I, I felt so bad, but she just, she was so good natured, Shirley. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and so was Roy. Yeah. They were so good natured. Every time we went over to their house, they treated us like we were. Yeah. Well, we were family, but they really treated us nice. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. No. What? You bringing up that story of putting your foot in your mouth. I think this is a, a fun time and lead into that story that I want to tell about you putting your foot in your mouth. Which time? With, <laughs> when, we're driving, <laughs> when we're driving with Seth and Barry. Seth's in the front seat and we're driving to school. And who was and, the other person? And Barry, a friend who used to walk to school with Seth and I. But Barry didn't come with us too often. And you didn't know him that well. Where were we going? We were going from uh, Prince Edward Avenue uh -huh. down to Stanford. So not a long drive. But you, you said you would drive Barry, Seth, and me to school. Barry's in the back seat. I'm in the back seat. Seth, for some reason, is in the front seat. And you used to always, maybe you still do it. I hope you don't do it anymore. You used to always, when you see a not-so-good-looking girl, be like, hey, Tom, there, there, that one's yours. But in this case, <laughs> you looked over, and when we saw this girl at the side of the road who was not the best-looking... You're like, hey, Barry, that one's yours. <laughs> remember Seth? Do you remember the story? No. Oh, I remember it very no. well. I remember Seth going, um, Mr. Johnson? And you're like, what? Uh, that, that's Barry's sister. <laughs> oh, no, no, Barry. That's not what I meant. She's, she's good looking. Oh, she, oh, yeah, she's okay. No. <laughs> I haven't, but I don't remember. And I was just like, oh, my God. <laughs> no. <laughs> and I, it was a very awkward drive uh. to school. <laughs> And I remember sitting in the kitchen at, uh, at Prince Edward and watching you outside cutting the grass. Mm -hmm. And then because you were so lazy. <laughs> I didn't want to cut around the stop sign. No. Yeah, you picked it up and laid it down. I'm going, oh my God, <laughs> you just put the stop sign down. People are going to go hit and crack. Drop, put that stop sign back. <laughs> well, I could take it out. It was a lot easier than cutting it. <laughs> no <over>. kidding. <laughs> Yeah, you didn't have to get the trimmer out to do it. It's lazy. Like, oh, I wasn't lazy. That was efficient. The other time, the 25 years came home in the CAA cab with the truck because you blew your engine going over to Hooters in Buffalo. Oh. Remember in that little in the, ice the whatever Dodge Omni. Yeah. The Dodge Omni. Yeah. And then as soon as you got out of the truck, I, I popped up and they all disappeared. They all scattered. I said, see, there's all your friends. They just took off. Yeah. <laughs> no, I was, I, put you know why I was so upset? It's because that Dodge Omni... Had a full tank, tank of gas. I <laughs> oh, no. I just blew the engine. I have a so full stupid tank of gas. me. I go and buy another car. Yeah. <laughs> and then you parked it there that time. You were all stoned with Gary. You parked it down behind Clifton Hill someplace in the back alley, and he couldn't remember where it was. <laughs> remember that? Yeah. Let, let's go on to the next question. So. Oh yeah. Who's getting interviewed? Here? Yeah. Any, <laughs> do you have any recipes that have been passed down to you from other family members? Well, I remember how my mom cooked her um, some of her meals, like her hamburger over mashed potatoes, mm -hmm. her spaghetti sauce. The one that I use a lot with your from your mother is Yorkshire pudding. Mm -hmm. That was passed down from her mother. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm waiting for one. The one you always forget. The, the, oh, mom's coleslaw. Yeah, <laughs> I coleslaw. made it this year. Did you? Yeah. Okay. Janice says, "Mom, put raisins in that." So now she's changed the recipe. Oh, okay. Put raisins in it. Yeah. No, I didn't. Did you have some? I didn't get any. We Mickey was not feeling well. This, this well, it wasn't some. the way Janet planned it. She wanted everybody to sit where she had set the table for. Then Micah decides she wasn't <coughs> going to sit at the little kid's table. She because Micah always gyrates to the youngest female. In this case, it's usually Yordis, but this time it was Jen, because Yordis wasn't there. So she wants to sit at the big people's table, so and Jen gets all upset. Anyway. <laughs> okay. So those were the recipes. My okay. mom's cabbage salad. Yeah. And your mother's, my first wife's, uh, Yorkshire pudding. Mm -hmm. And uh, a couple of recipes, just odd recipes from my mom. Mm -hmm. Next question? 
Uh, are there any physical characteristics that run in your family? Yeah. Heart disease. Mm. Diabetes. Mm. Basically, those are the two, which I have both. Mm -hmm. And some. Mm -hmm. And the, any physical characteristics? Like, when you look aesthetically, is there something that you go, oh, yeah, that's, a, that's Johnson. Barrel chest. Yeah. Barrel chest. All the boys have a barrel chest. Yeah. Yeah. I wonder if Mickey's going to have a big barrel chest. Or he's gonna well, be you do. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, are there any special heirlooms? Or photos or Bibles or other I have a few that photos. I think family? everybody has a few photos. <clears throat> being all my siblings, they all have a few photos. Some probably have more than others. I've got maybe five or six photos, and that's about all I have. Mm -hmm. A lot of them were gone by, by the time I got over to the house. When my mom and dad passed away. Yeah. Any other special heirlooms or anything? Or? Uh, yeah, yeah. I actually have my dad's medals from the Navy. Really? I have his hat, his beret. Where is that? It's in my dress. dress Here? Sir. No, at home. At home? At Parkway. I've never seen them. Down here? I've never seen them. Yeah. I've got them upstairs. I didn't know that. Those are the only things I really got from my dad. Yeah. I may have gotten a cane, which I don't, I, I don't know where it is now. Okay. But I do have his medals and I do have his beret. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. Cool. That's one thing I wanted. Yeah. Which I got. Yeah. Before anybody else got their claws on it. <laughs> oh, sorry. We're being taped. Yeah, yeah. Well, what was the, what's the full name of your spouse? Which one? Mm, let's go through them. Oh, let's just do the first one. Yeah. Huh? Okay. Karen Lynn Stovell. Okay. And then what, what's the next one? Uh, Rose. <laughs> Rose something. Hicks. Rose Stewart. Stewart? What was her name? What was her name? I don't know. Rose Stewart. <laughs> okay. What is there another? Not that I was married to. Okay. No. Okay. There was lots of others. Yeah. <laughs> how did, uh, how did you meet, uh, Karen? I met your mom, Karen. Mm -hmm. She came in the hardware store. Mm -hmm. She just had a big fight with her boyfriend. Mm -hmm. And she wanted to buy some stain and some shellac or varnish for her ukulele or guitar. Really? Yeah. And she came and uh, I waited on her. And we got along pretty good. And then she left and... A little while later, she called the store and she said, um, you guys make deliveries? And I'm not sure if it was me she spoke to or anyway, the person said yes. She said, I wonder if that uh, young redheaded fella could make a delivery. I need, I think she needed some sandpaper and stuff. She forgot to get sandpaper. So I delivered, uh, delivered the stuff to the, uh, your mom's, your Karen's apartment. And from then on, we started dating, and which in turn led to marriage, and uh, which in turn led to you and your sister, Vanessa. <laughs> and what about uh, Rose? How did you meet her? Rosie was a, not childhood, but she was a high school girl that I was aware of, that I really liked. Um, and uh, she'd been married in a couple of times, and I had too, and we just hit it off. And, uh, and you got reacquainted. and Yeah, her and I got along very well. Mm -hmm. It was her children that got between us. Where did you where did you meet up with her again? Like, was it through online, or was it did you meet up through a friend, or how did you? No, I think we met up at a party again. I found out she was single. She found out I was single. Mm -hmm. We started seeing each other. We started dating. Mm -hmm. And one thing led to another. Mm -hmm. She yep. moved in, got her kids. And got married in the backyard. Work, nice, married beautiful the backyard. living with yeah. the rain. With the rain. Didn't work out with her children around. Yeah. And then uh, Jan, Janice, where, where'd you meet her? Janice, I met online. Mm -hmm. She's currently your girlfriend right now. She's currently my girlfriend. Mm -hmm. Met she's online. Of, the, of all the girls I've dated, she's the nicest. Mm hmm one of the most hardworking girls I've ever met. Mm -hmm. uh, she's very good to me. Mm -hmm. um, she's her own person. She's very smart. Mm -hmm. 
if you ever got in to start talking with her and whatnot, she's got a few degrees, in, mm -hmm. which I wasn't aware of until lately. Mm -hmm. um, she's just an overall really nice person. If you ask me why I'm still with her, and that's why I'm still with her. Mm -hmm. She's so good to me. She's so hardworking. She's so smart. Mm -hmm. She's so smart. So we met her online through. That's uh, that's different these days. I think Definitely it was. I think it was um, plenty of fish. Plenty of fish. Okay. Yeah, and her her friends egged her on to going on, one more time. She had a bad experience on it, and they egged her on to going on one more time. I looked at her on plenty of fish, and I thought, oh, I'll try, but I don't think this girl will go with me. She's too good looking. She did. Mm. And then I used to go to Barry every weekend. And she lived in Barry. Okay. She lived in Barry. Yeah, yeah, she moved to Barry from British Columbia because of her daughter it was in competition with ice skating. And Barry had the Indian. biggest, the the biggest program mm -hmm. for for in order for her daughter to advance, mm -hmm. which she did. But you know, she got to a certain level, <coughs> and now she's getting to the age where she's becoming too old. She's gonna be home on the eighth. You can mm. just miss it. Mm -hmm. You know her. Yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice, nice. She's just like her mom. Okay. She's so nice. So, other than the obvious, and you can figure that out, what did you used to do on dates with Karen, my mom? Other than the obvious. Oh. <laughs> um, what did you used to do on dates? When we were young, and we did it even when you kids were around, we traveled a lot. Uh -huh. Traveled a lot. We ate a lot. We and when you traveled, like is travel, you'd go to Chippewa, you'd go to Florida. Where would you go? Florida. Okay. Um, Europe. Mm -hmm. uh, that's where we met Joe and Sandy. Mm -hmm. um, uh, we actually went to Cuba. I think we took you kids with us at that point. I never went to Cuba with you. Verdero. I never went to Verdero. Yeah, I think you did. The time I, I think I've been to Cuba. Your mother. I've been to Cuba once, and it was by myself. And it was right after uh, I broke up with Joanne. That's your mother. Paid for myself to go. Yeah, it's something else I want to talk to you about. Okay. Um. Somehow. So we went to Spain. We went to Cuba. <coughs> I think we went to Mexico. Mm -hmm. Maybe it was Mexico. But yeah, it was Mexico we went to. Cuba, yeah, yeah. Uh, Cancun. I know. I remember okay. Cancun. Yeah, that's where we went to. Not, mm -hmm. not Cuba. Um. Your mom didn't ski. I, I used to ski with you guys all the time until you got your license. Mm -hmm. No, and by skiing, you mean you used to come down to the ski hills and you'd we used do to go one down run. Kissing Bridge. You'd do one run? One or two runs <laughs> before the alcohol kicked in. Get a little tired and sit at the bar? Tired, no, but. Uh, we, we used drunk, to, yes. We used to get those uh, chicken wings, right? Oh, I remember the chicken wings at that. We'd go to the restaurant, but then you used to sit at that chalet. You used to go with uh, Roz, mm -hmm. Phil, and I used to we either bring Shelley Cooper or Jelaine Spencer or Judith Parker. Mm, I forget used to come, yeah. Jelaine Spencer, she herself, I don't know. Yeah, she's dead. Yeah. 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 Pretty, pretty girl. Yeah. <clears throat> Next question? So what would you do on uh, dates with Rose? Other than the obvious. <laughs> we traveled a fair bit too. <laughs> okay. Where did you go with her? I think I went to either Cuba or um, Greece. Yeah, I took her to Greece. Yep. Uh, did we go to Dominican? I'm not sure now. One of the islands. Mm hmm. Yeah, we did a, yeah, I think I've done the most of my traveling with uh, Catherine and Janice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've done quite a bit of traveling with Janice. Yeah? Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me. Where'd you go with Jane? We've been to Bar Harbor. We've been to Florida. We've been to Ellicottville. We've been to... <coughs> Excuse me. We've been to Greece. We've been to. Um, I think that's it. Was it like Jan? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I missed these things. 
<laughs> Here's me. Next question. Okay. Um, how did you propose to Karen? Do you remember? Yeah, I think I got a lifesaver and put it in a ring box. And when she opened it up, it was a lifesaver. Then I had the real ring with me. Mm -hmm. And I think we were at... What did your mom say? <laughs> I don't know. We can, we, can review the, we can review the tape. <laughs> I think we were at a restaurant down by uh, the IMAX Theater. I forget the name of it. It's the, a really, really nice restaurant. The, the, I think I know. Like it's an old, not the old mill or something like something that. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. That one? Okay. I think that was really? it. Really? Is that where you proposed? Yeah. Okay. Run the tape back, see what your mom said. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, what about with uh, Rose? <laughs> Did you propose? Did she propose? You got married. You must have somehow said, hey, we should get married. Where, where, where were you? Next question? No. <laughs> really? I forget. <laughs> Come on. Think. I forget, Tom. You forget. I'd have to think about who I have silver. Hmm. <laughs> hey, monkey. Yeah. No, remember? Okay. No, no. Maybe we'll come back to that. With, yeah. Uh, Bruce's middle name. Who? Hmm? Bruce's middle name. Who else? <laughs> You're your brother. Remember, that was another one we were coming back to. Yeah, right. Yep, yep. Dad? Hey, Mick. Oh, uh, you want to see in the photo? Mm -hmm. okay. Come here, come here for a second. Now he's talking to Grandpa. Uh, Don't hide. Who's that? Smile. Uh huh. Smile. 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 Anyway. Smile. Smile. Okay. Okay, monkey. Go with mommy for a bit, okay? Oh, you have it. Okay. Should, should we pause this and go for some lunch and come back? Oh. Sure. Is that okay? Mom. Sure. Okay. Mom. What question?